This video is going to have really unpopular opinions, so if you don't agree with me, click off or leave a hate comment, I don't really care. I'm also going to be quite mean, so I'm sorry if you're sensitive, like me. <laughs> this will be a rant on the Vin situation and how people are completely messing things up and making the situation worse, specifically the more popular people in the community. If I mention you in this video, please take what I say into consideration instead of being ignorant. I'm 99% sure all of you know about the Vin situation, but if you don't for some reason, he wants to get cancelled and get attention is making problematic videos and statements, including racism and homophobia. He is really problematic and needs help. He has offended a lot of people and I completely understand being angry at him. I am too. However, the gotcha community is going in the absolute opposite direction and supporting him through hate. People are making Vin edits, Vin reaction videos, and just a lot of things Vin related. This is a problem because, as I stated before, Vin wants attention, and the gotcha community is handing it to him on a silver platter, whether intentionally or not. This doesn't just include a few people, it's practically the whole community. This isn't the first time the gotcha community has done this, and it makes you wonder how an entire group of people can come together to do the same thing by themselves. And that's where I propose that it's a learned behavior. There are a ton of influencers in the gotcha community, but the ones I will be talking about the most are the influencers in what I call the trend community. The trend community is a group of gotcha tubers who just follow trends. The ones of which mostly come from the influencers. I'm going to be focusing on these two creators, but many other creators are doing the same thing as them. I'm focusing on these two because they're obvious influences in the gotcha community. What these two videos have in common is that they were both made with the purpose of either cashing in on the situation, just getting a video out there, or joining in on the Vin trend. Notice how none of these reasons mean that they care about this situation. But they might be offended by them being racist towards black people. How? If you take one singular look at their OCs, you can tell that they're not black. Correct me if I'm wrong though. The reason why Vin is being cancelled is for being racist towards black people. So what are these non-black people doing here? Why are they making videos about Vin being racist when he isn't even being racist towards them? Of course, Vin said a few more slurs like the F slur and the S slur, which both apply to me. But if I was mad at Vin, I wouldn't make a video about him being racist towards black people, something I, nor these two, are not. But then they must be spreading awareness. I'm sorry, but it is so obvious that these videos aren't spreading awareness. They are not commentary, they're just for your entertainment. I didn't learn much from this, and I learned absolutely nothing from this. Therefore, they are not spreading awareness. This is really disappointing, coming from well-known creators in the community, because as influencers, they are influencing their mostly younger and more gullible audience into following their footsteps by also making Vin edits, which is very harmful, as I will explain in a second. Something I feel not enough influencers take accountability for is that they're influencers and that they are actively influencing their audience. While I do believe idol culture is very wrong and problematic, these influencers need to realize that they shape their community and that they can choose to make their community rise or fall, unfortunately. This also means that you shouldn't be making as many bad decisions and being immature and making immature content will just hurt you in the long run. The reason why these kinds of videos are harmful is because they don't do anything to fix the current situation. Making edits of Vin won't make him less racist, which unfortunately, some people already are aware of and choose to take advantage of. For example, people making Vin edits as part of a trend. Some people aren't aware of this though and are just following their extremely immature idols. I hate to be the one to say this, but nothing you make or say will make Vin a better person. Being nice and supporting him is just weird, and bashing him while smothering him with attention is just unhelpful. 
There are definitely better ways to go about this, and even if this video doesn't reach many people, I want people to hear what I have to say because this could be very helpful for the situation and the future of how our community runs. Because at this rate, people will continue this behavior for co future controversies. I've stated this multiple times, but what people need to grasp is that the core problem is that Vin wants attention. People say that the reason is that he wants his fans to leave him alone, and while that is part of the problem, if not only his haters but also his fans stopped giving him that attention, he would eventually give up and maybe come to his senses, get some help, all that good stuff. This is the very obvious answer to the end of this drama, but I feel like people enjoy the drama more than fixing it. This is going to be the end of the video, so it isn't too long. If you don't agree with me or if you have anything to add, leave a comment. Not only does it help this video out, but I would also like to see what you guys have to say. For everyone wondering why our community is so toxic and why outsiders see us as problematic, this is why.